But now comes yeah. our time where we're sort of running out of time. And I want to get us to the third um, challenge of the day today, which is to ask the traders um, longer term position through the weekend into next week. Um, what do you think, what, what is your market view, both from a price structure, maybe fundamental structure, and where do you see the most interesting um, trades going? So, Petter, we'll start with you. I'd love to know your opinion about the market and what you think would be an interesting trade into the weekend. So for next week, right? Like a short term, yes. right? Correct, correct. Into the next week. Yeah, I mean, we can, we, we can look together. <laughs> um, okay. So let's start with, for example, with a goal. I think this is interesting for everyone. Um, gold, okay. <clears throat> yeah. There is a few stuffs which uh which you know got my attention here first if you see here uh I'll let, I'll let me go to the futures market because it's a centralized volume right okay you see volume spike here after the news yes this is this is the cpi news massive spike volume right exactly <clears throat> this is the biggest volume spike i think if i checked relative to the last couple of months to be honest okay interesting um, if you see nothing on the left above that uh, right. climax this is technically a climax so climax for me is everything it's a buying climax uh climax is everything which is uh going way too fast way too far and ultra high volume so some vertical moves like usually after the news right. we we see climaxes either it's a selling climax or a buying climax now okay. the key point here to watch is what will happen after the days after the climax okay during that day of the climax market is very hot uh by trying to buy pullbacks and stuff like that that's all fine but for me it's interesting for the short-term perspective um to watch the days after day after a few days after to get some more pieces of the puzzle you know uh to get more better sense of what mark is trying to do so the very next day which was yesterday after this climax market went did the pullback and did rally here and make made a big um you see the triangle you're probably all yes. familiar with cement yes. triangle sure right it started to contract very very hard and around this pin bar or tail call that how you want this is where the sellers initially came yes. uh during that climax day okay so market didn't have a power initially to take that um Today, which is the second day of the climax, we got some imbalance. You see the profile is not oriented around the middle. It's more like a few distributions through the day. Yes. And it's going to the downside relative to the previous day, right? We have some high, lower highs based on the um, Tokyo session. Right. See? So for me, <clears throat> the situation is like this. If the single prints can hold, Single prints, I treat single prints like an um, area where we didn't have so much back and forth. You remember the gap I right. spoke about? Yes, yes, this yes. Yeah. So this is, okay. this is that same gap. Yeah, same concept. Yeah. Same yeah. concept. So the price usually will try to search to revisit that, to retest. Just think about the testing process is one of the most important uh, processes uh, for the buyers to, to go in with the bigger money, right? Because just think about it. If you want to buy a car, uh, do you want to test that car first? I mean, majority will want to test car first before they buy, right? Right. The same thing, the buyers will need to make sure that supply actually disappear or actually that the supply was compressed, that they can buy more. So what they do is they mark the price up, okay? And then you watch the pullbacks, and if the pullbacks will provide on the low, lighter volume, and if you see supply is not that strong, then the market can be ready for the next rally, right? So they need to. This is called. It's a classical principle. It's called test of supply, um, and that's okay. something that also Richard Wyckoff spoke about. Um, he was phenomenal in the, in the volume analysis. I mean, you know, his um, you know up trust. Um, testing of supply and all of the stuff with relative to supply and demand. So for me, for example, as long the single prints can hold more, uh, uh, more upside is there. If we okay. can see that we, we take the single prints, 
we eventually go hard against this this can open door for a short term um short term change in behavior so we can right. have Reversal. a certain downside correct for now it's holding but right. i think we might see that to be on the retest previous lows so uh H so going so you you're really surprising me now so is your view that you want to get short gold into this retest is that, is my that view your... for now for now i will tell you honestly for now my view is i'm neutral stance because we didn't test single prints okay it is so but because... what, what, you know I, I i can't i can't trade a neutral trade i need you to give me a trade so what would you you know would you would you would you give gun to your head yeah, I, 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 like this trade, this, this trade, oh. you, you're going to be sure. You're gonna, is, is gold going to be lower Monday or higher end of day Monday? Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> okay, I don't know that, but I can just say it like this. You yeah. can, uh, the idea behind this is to be the bullish on the gold and eventually put a stop. I mean, this howl thing below this single print swing. This is a okay. short term swing. So, because this would be a short term swing play. That's the yeah. smart play. So, you, you get long now. With that, with a stop right underneath that that trend line, because if, if uh, that stop one. is broken, then your then your thesis is wrong. Yep. Yep. Okay. All right. Exactly. So we're gonna get long for you on, on gold. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we'll 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 see how that plays out. I think you're right. I like the price action. I mean, I'm looking at the short term price action. That V shaped bounce is very very bullish in my opinion. Um, it suggests that that there is no there is very little a very little supply. Um, at those levels, um, there's a lot of demand still, and the fundamentals just continue. I mean, you know, everywhere, I, I, my my ears are ringing from the word inflation every time I'm I'm turning on Bloomberg and everywhere else. I think it's getting to a um, um, almost a you know frenetic mode, and that's actually very positive because we're, we're we're nowhere near you know exhaustion mode. We're just in this in this momentum sentiment mode. Um, so I yeah, think exactly. uh, I think I, I agree with you. I think